We are using our example RNA-seq report to show you how our reporting works. Our report comes in the form of a secure website, which includes all analysis methods and outcomes. We would give you a link and login details, which would give you access to the report. On the first page, it states the title and client name and any details as to who in the team worked on the report. To access it, we click on View Report. There are a variety of different tabs along the top. This first page is your executive summary. It provides an overview of the project background, what we agreed was going to be the initial analysis. It shows the aims and any summary notes associated with post-QC of the data that was analysed and a summary of the results. In addition, any study limitations will be highlighted at the bottom of the page. These will show any reasons where we think there is a limitation, such as identified bias. Metadata shows any additional data provided by the client, such as non-omics data. This is a summary of the additional data we can use to be able to tell you the story about your data. This includes things such as patient gender, patient age, and how many compounds you tested. This can be useful as we highlight if there is any missing information. You may not realise there are gaps in the data provided until we undertake this metadata analysis. It helps us in determining whether we are going to include or exclude certain samples and why. The QC section of the report really gives you a sense of what your data looks like and what data was included in the analysis. It helps to see the initial trends in your data and is shown in both raw and normalised forms. The raw QC helps show what samples have passed or failed to be included and the various tests we run through to come to that conclusion. Different plots are shown to see the samples that were provided and if there were any outliers in the samples. This helps show the distribution of the data within the analysis at first glance prior to the full analysis. Heat maps can be created that show the principal component analysis of the raw data. There are dynamic plots of PCA where you can hone in and look at specific examples that are shown in the graph. We also have MA and density plots, which allow you to see the distribution of the data and the samples to be able to identify any outliers. This can help you further understand why they have either been included or excluded. In the normalised data section, we illustrate the outcome of data normalisation. This shows the difference that it makes to the data in terms of its distribution. We will look here at the overview and then one of the specific association tests. The overview details the specific comparisons undertaken as different comparisons are probably being done within your research. You can fully explore these graphs in detail as they are interactive. Images such as the heat maps may also look small on the report, but can be saved to PDF or PNG formats at much larger sizes. You can see which test interests you the most and then go into that specific test for more details. Selecting antagonist versus DMSO, you can see heat maps and volcano plots, as well as the significant genes and pathways. You can search for specific pathways or genes and use filters to find the most significant gene. You can order based on p-value or log FC change for example. You are able to hone in and look at specific genes found to be differentially expressed within the experiment. All data can be downloaded, you can also download it by filtered. At the bottom there are also significance and full change profiles highlighted. 
Looking now at the functional analysis overview. Key results are shown at the top, with keg pathways and go terms shown separately beneath. For both, we highlight significant pathways and terms. Looking now at a specific comparison for functional analysis, the bubble plots show the significant genes and their pathways in the analysis. You can search through both keg pathways and go terms and use filters to find the most significant gene. You can order the table based on p-value, for example. You can find both the genes that have been differentially expressed and also the pathways that are potentially associated with them. We also link back to public databases to look at the details of those specific biological pathways. In terms of understanding the analysis we've done, we have our supplementary area where we have all the details for our methods. This shows how we carried out the QC and the various statistical methods we used, as well as the databases we used for analysis. Downloads allow you to download specific tables from the report into an Excel format. Images and pictures can be downloaded on their image in the report. References and links highlight software and other information used during the report creation. You can also download two types of the report, compact and standard. The compact report includes only the executive summary. The standard report contains everything included in the online report.